Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to share five fantastic apps you need to download for your Android smartphone. This is an ongoing series, so make sure to check the description box below to find more top Android app videos. And of course, you will find the app download links in the description box as well. All right, let's dive in and discover some amazing apps for your Android smartphone. All right, so the first app I want to talk about is called Outiles. Now, this app is for music, radio, and podcast lovers. And the best part is Outiles is free and has over 80,000 radio stations and more than 100,000 podcasts to listen to. And as if that is not enough, it comes with a built-in recorder that allows you to record anything you're listening to in MP3 format for later. So let me quickly demonstrate. All right, so let's scroll over and launch Outiles. And you, when you first launch this, this is the screen you're going to see. As you can see on the top, you see the radio, then you see the podcast, and then you see the recordings that you have recorded yourself while you were listening to a certain music. So what you can do is if you tap on radio, it's going to bring up the next screen. From here, you get a nice, beautiful little menu. You can browse by genres. You can browse by countries. Uh, as you can see, United States, Pennsylvania. You can even go local if you want to. Or you can simply search. Uh, for something you're looking for. You can search for a station, artist, genre, or even a location. So let's say you like techno music. You simply search for techno music. Click search, and that's going to bring up all the stations that pertain to techno. All right, so from here, let's dive right into a radio station. So let's tap on this technobase.fm, and then it's going to be playing when you tap on it, or if it's not playing, you just press the play button. But basically, if there's a something that is playing in the background that you absolutely adore, you can simply go over here to record and start to record that. So let's see, could I tap that? There we go. So now let's say there's a beautiful music playing in the background. I can start to record that and that's going to start the recording process. And when I'm done, I simply click stop recording. And once you press stop, it actually stops recording and the recording gets saved right over here. Now, as you can see, it gives you a time that that recording was done, continuous recording. If you tap on it, you can replay uh, that segment that you recorded. Other things you can do is you can tap these icons over here. Okay, that's going to actually add this uh, station to your favorites or remove it from your favorites so you can remember the station. Also, you can always tap this icon over here. It only shows recordings, so it's not going to show everything else over here. It's going to show you the recordings that you perform. And of course, you can tap on similar, and that's going to get you more stations like this that you're going to like if you're liking the one that you're listening to right now. Let's go back home really quick. I'm going to show you a couple more things. So the station we just listened to is right over here. You can press and hold on this guy and actually get some more options. All right, so this is a very feature-rich radio station. Uh, you have all these options, and also if you tap over here, uh, you can go into features and settings, and from here, you have, again, a lot of options. You can change the look and feel of this app. Uh, you know, you can do uh, manually add a station, and of course, you can control the output. So if you want to play this on your Apple TV or any other streaming device, you can do that as well. All right, absolutely fantastic. Now, Outiles is free to download, so go grab it, try it out. If you love it, keep it. Let's move on to the next application. Oh, and one thing I forgot to show you guys is actually if you go into one of these stations, so let's just pick any station, go to electronic, let's tap on this one over here. And what you can do is if you really, really like that station, you can set that station uh, to be your alarm clock. So all you do is press that button I just pressed and pick that option, set station as an alarm clock, and then you can wake up your favorite radio station, or you can actually uh, set a sleep timer so it's going to play that radio station until you go to sleep and you set the timer to be 50 minutes, 30 minutes, or whatever. Just wanted to share those two options with you guys. All right, let's move on. All right, the next app is called Solid Explorer. So basically, this is a file explorer utility that is very, very useful. Now, first and foremost, the design is really nice. It's got that materialistic design, so it's very modern. And of course, uh, you can do things like you can change the way the fol folders look. So if I tap on View Options, uh, you can change this into a list format, or the way I like it is uh, you can keep this at a grid format, which is easier to see, and this better emulates an actual file explorer. Other things you can do, if you tap this icon, you can go into the settings, 
And the other thing I like, of course, is the fact that you can change the colors. You can change the theme. You have themes. You can pick dark themes, black themes, auto light plus dark, and all that good stuff. Uh, you can change the primary color, the accent color. You can change the icon sets and even the color scheme. So this thing is fully customizable. You can actually customize the colors to fit the rest of your phone. Now, if I go back out over here, you'll see that it's going to show you storages, uh, bookmarks, and collections. Collections actually take you to photos, music, videos, and applications. If I tap on photos, it takes me to the, all the photos on my phone. Uh, I can browse folder by folder. So this is the stuff that's in my camera, and this is the stuff that's in my uh, downloads folder. And I can individually select each file, obviously, and I can share them, delete them, cut them, copy them, and paste them to wherever I want. So basically, I just want you guys to go and download this. It is a free download, and if you like it, you can keep it. Let's move on to the next app. All right, the next app I want to talk about is called Zedge. So Zedge basically is a database of ringtones and wallpapers for your phone. So let's go in and take a look at what we have over here. Now, this app is free, but it's got ads, but you don't have to ever purchase it. So if you look over here, it's actually more than ringtones and wallpapers. You even have access to live wallpapers, which a lot of people are forgetting about. You've got the ringtones, you've got notification tones, you've got games, icons, and widgets. So some of these uh, apps, such as the live wallpapers, if you tap on it, it's going to give you a preview. You can go in it, and then you can download it, okay? And most of these things will take you to the Play Store to download the actual uh, live wallpaper. Let's go over here, uh, go to wallpapers. So then we have the featured, we have recent, we've got popular, and then with the wallpapers, you can pick whatever you want. So if I tap this one over here, all I have to do is press this download icon, and then you can make adjustments to that photo, or you can just save it the way it is. So if I tap it, it's gonna be saved to device. And just one more thing with this wallpaper application, if you do go into a wallpaper, what you can do is you can tap on it to preview it in full screen. So if you want to see a full preview, you can do that. And then you simply tap exit, goes back to the actual uh, setup screen. Okay, so very basic, just another uh, app out there to get you guys more wallpapers and more ringtones. If I go to ringtones, again, you've got the featured ringtones. You can go to recent, uh, you can go to popular. And you can also go to categories so you can pick a ringtone that you like uh, based on a category that you please. All right, again, guys, this is free, so go grab it, and let's move on to the next app. All right, so the next step I want to talk about is called the Action Launcher 3. So this is not an app. It is actually a launcher that replaces your home screen. So let's tap on it and see what it looks like. Tap, and there we go. So you can add widgets to it. You've got a Google search bar on the top over here. And then you've got the icons at the bottom, and you can add anything you want here, and you can add more screens uh, just by tapping and holding as usual. But what I really like about this app, this one thing that I really like, is when you swipe to the right, it brings out a sidebar that gives you access to all your apps. And it's really, really smooth. You know, there's no lag, nothing like that. But this bar really is very appealing for me. It's a good replacement for the usual app launcher, which is this thing right here. So instead of this thing, I much prefer just swiping to the right and accessing all my apps on the side. Now, that's the only feature I wanted to show you guys. You can download this. It is free. And uh, just play around with the rest of the settings. Of course, if you tap over here, you have a lot of options, okay? This is not a little tiny app. It's got a lot of customization and personalization options. So go grab it, and let's move on to the next app. All right, so the next app is called the Textgram. So basically with Textgram, you can write onto pictures in a fancy way. So let's launch it and do a quick demonstration. So tap this guy. And first and foremost, you have to click the plus sign and you go to the template mode. And basically what you can do is you can pick different canvases, different backgrounds and stickers and create a beautiful little uh, message. So let's say I want to edit this right over here. Subscribe to Saki Tech. If I update, that reflects right over here. Again, if I can go over here, um, let's go back. Go to backgrounds, and I can change the background. I can pick different things, all right? And uh, they just look absolutely phenomenal. I can also change the font. Uh, I can go to templates. These are pre-built things right over here. As you can see, it's going to retain the text, but it's going to give me these templates. So once I'm done, I click Next. And all I do is I can save the design, save the picture, or share this picture. But you get the idea. But just to get going into details, uh, you know, you can change the canvas. 
you have templates you can change the background you can add stickers so I can take this chair over here and put it right over here okay so the uh, possibilities are endless just go nuts with it and that's the final app again it is free to download but of course again it is free to download but of course you can pay to remove the ads and gain some additional features and that's the end and of course there are more top five app videos to watch check the links in the description box below to discover even more apps as well as to access individual app links featured in this video all right so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family also subscribe and stay tuned for more tech videos to come have a fantastic day